Hello everybody, how are we doing today? I hope you guys are good. Sorry I bumped up the show today, but my dad is actually in Bismarck for the weekend and we decided we are gonna try and drive down to Bismarck tonight instead of tomorrow to get a little bit more time with my dad and my grandpa. Hello Jason, how are you? So, I did move it up a little bit, you guys, so don't feel confused. It was at 4.30, but now it's at 4. I want a little bit of time to be able to pack up all of our stuff to go stay in Bismarck tonight. Hello, Sheila, Patrick, Miranda, Jaden, how are you guys? I hope you are doing well. I am good, you guys. Just busy as ever. Hello, Tammy and Jessica. Charlene, our stuff is gonna ship soon, Charlene. Your seasoning that we bought. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited for all my Pampered Chef seasonings to come in the mail so I can start trying them in recipes like these where I need some different spices and seasonings. Hello, Nicole, Sarah, Joey, Sean. What's up, you guys? Hello, Mike and Kate and Rose and Deborah. How are you guys doing? I am good, you guys. We started the show a little earlier today so that I can try and make it down to Bismarck tonight to hang out with my dad and my grandpa. It is my grandpa's 81st birthday tomorrow. So big happy hey, birthday. Grandpa, birthday. <laughs> big happy birthday for my grandpa. Hello, Jenny. Hello. Yes, Bill, it's been a while. Welcome back, you guys. Oh, Jason, busy working in meetings all day long. All right, you guys, I'm just going to share this a couple more places and then we will get going. Please feel free, if you guys are one of my Pampered Chef consultants that work with me, please feel free to share this into your groups. We will be using a couple of Pampered Chef items today. Uh, I'm really sad. Normally, I would be using my Mix and Chop today but I left that at my mom's, so we're gonna have to make do with what we have. I'm just looking for one more group that I don't wanna miss, and then we will get going. Yes, you guys, 81. Patrick, sounds good, have a good day at work. Yes, happy birthday to grandpa. Yes, Nicole, I am very lucky. Um, I've lost my grandpa on my mom's side and my grandma on my dad's side, but everybody else I still have. So I am really, really lucky there. All right. My kids are wild and crazy today, so there's that. Hello, Marianne. Show canceled due to missing equipment. If only, you guys, the, must, the show must go on. Even if I'm mix, missing my mix and chop, which is a super sad day, anytime I am um, cooking ground beef. <laughs> and you, you don't like it, Jason? Because that's heartbreaking. It is one of my favorites. Hey, Rory, can we migrate? Thank you. The boys got a new toy, and so they are wild and crazy in the kitchen. And because the stove is clearly on very hot, and the oven, I don't want them throwing a Frisbee around in here just in case they knock into some food. How is everyone doing? Okay, you guys, so oven is at 350 to bake our tortellini when it's all done. I've got water on the stove, bringing it up to a boil. Hello, Ellen, how are you? We are going to cook our tortellinis. My cat's gonna learn the hard way if he tries to walk over here. <laughs> here we go. Found your friend. All right, cat got the boot. So if you've never cooked tortellinis before and you don't know where they're at in the store, you will find them in the refrigerated section at your grocery store. If you live here in Minot, if you go to Cashwise, they are in this section between bagels and cream cheese and Pillsbury Crescent Rolls and stuff like that. So package of tortellinis, they're pre-made for you. If you know how to make your own tortellini, tortellinis, 
tortellinis. Good for you. I wish I knew how to make pasta. It would be so fun. Hello, Tabitha, Sean. Yes, there's lots of different things that we can use today instead of our mix and chop. So no worries at all. Hello, Tina. How are you? So these are tortellinis that I'm going to use. Um, my husband picked them out. There's really no difference between the green and the, the white. Um, sometimes they're made with spinach. Sometimes there's just a color difference. Um, this has 12 grams of protein per serving. Um, no processed cheese in it. Um, so, you know, not the worst pasta you could have. Hello, Mary Jo. How are you? Watching me at work. Nice to see you big on instead of on my cell phone. Hello, Susan. You've seen me live and in person, so you know what it looks like full size. <laughs> Hello, Amy. All right. So our water is going to come to a boil over here. I like to throw a little bit of salt in it. Not only will it help your water boil faster, but it'll also stop that tortellini from sticking to itself. If you want to use olive oil, you can do that too. You guys, there's a lot of different tricks that you can do to prevent your pasta from sticking to itself. We have an awesome little tool at Pampered Chef. It's uh, no more boil over and you just stick it on there and it won't ever boil over again. Super, super handy and I need it. It would be super, super fun. Hello, Danny. Crystal, what's up? T, it's nice to have them done again. Hello, Tori, how are you? I am gonna move you guys over. We are gonna be doing a lot of stove work today. So I'm gonna shift you guys over to my stove. I can't wait until I have a different kitchen to uh, accommodate us a little better than right here, but that's okay. So we are gonna cook our tortellini according to the package directions. You want it al, de al dente, sorry guys. You want it al dente because we will be putting it in the oven to cook it a little bit more. And there is nothing worse than overdone pasta that just falls apart. Hello, Carrie, how are you? So my water is about to come to a boil. I am using my Dutch oven rock crock. You could even throw your tortellini in here with a couple cups of water and into the microwave if you don't want to use your stove. I thought, why not? I'm already over here cooking our ground beef, so I might as well just use the stove to cook our pasta. So we're gonna use a pound of ground beef. In a large skillet, we are gonna brown our ground beef. I am gonna use my 10 inch cast iron skillet to brown my hamburger today. You guys can use any of your skillets, nonstick cast iron, stainless steel. Um, if you are using a stainless steel skillet, please cook at a lower temperature. There's nothing worse than things sticking to your stainless steel because you're cooking at too high of a temperature. So just keep that in mind anytime you are working with stainless steel pots or pans. Pour my pasta in there. We're gonna look at the directions. We are going to cook for seven minutes is all. And then we are gonna strain it. I wish I was getting a remodel. No, I was just hoping to get a new house. <laughs> yes, Jasmine, that is another good trick. Just stick a wooden spoon over it and it won't boil over. <laughs> It's not good to put oil in the water. It doesn't let the heat release. It puts a coating on the top so the pan of your noodles don't cook evenly. Amanda, I have never heard that before. I don't ever use oil. I always use salt, but that is a good thing to know that you're not supposed to put oil. I feel like uh, everyone I know uses it. Okay, that's okay though. All right, we are just gonna chop up our ground beef. And I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoning in here. I'm gonna do some garlic powder some onion powder, some black pepper, some salt. Just really get it nice in there. Don't be shy with the seasonings, you guys, because nothing else is going to be seasoned. We're using tomato sauce. If you, whoops, if you want to, and you don't want to use, I broke this, you guys. If you don't want to use a bunch of seasonings, you can use marinara if you don't want to do all the extra work of putting extra seasonings and stuff into it you can definitely use marinara instead that comes with 
seasonings and flavors and stuff in it, if that's what you would like. You guys, I am so sad I don't have my mix and chop for this right now. I am on this struggle bus right now. Hello, Maureen. We are making a cheesy tortellini. And plenty here in Texas with the nice kitchens. I know Texas is known for their kitchens. I do know that. But my husband and I are hoping to move somewhere closer to family. Minnesota, Arizona, somewhere close by, you guys. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. I love making Himalayan salt, you guys. I don't know why. It just has a little bit of a different salty flavor. Um, it is a strong salt flavor, though, so just use a little less than you would of normal kosher salt. So we're just going to cook this up until it's nice and brown. Then we're going to strain off any of the extra grease and fat. There's so much work added without my mix and chop, but I will survive. <laughs> yeah. Playing with their frisbee again. You want to say hi? <laughs> I know, it's going to be good, but watch out, baby. It's going to be hot right there. All right, so our oven is set to 350, you guys. We are just cooking this. Our tortellini just has a little bit longer to cook, not too much longer. I'm gonna turn my heat down a little bit. All right. Then we're gonna open our tomato sauce. Just got off work, Maureen. How was your day at work? <laughs> Sean, I actually don't have one. Otherwise, I would totally use it. I actually uh, um, do not own a potato masher. I always use my mix and chop. Hello, you guys. How are you guys doing? So we're going to open our tomato sauce up so that we can add it into our ground beef once this is all done. Make sure you strain off all this extra grease before you add the tomato sauce in. Um, please put it down, honey. Electrocutes you. Uh, please put it down. Thank you. Here we go, you guys. I am going to throw in a little Italian seasoning to go with our meat. Mm, don't mind me just opening the cupboard to find the Italian seasoning. There we go. Sorry, guys. Little roller coaster there for a second. Just throw in a little bit. I don't like a whole lot of Italian seasoning because it has basil in it, and I am not a huge fan of basil, but I like some of the other flavors. We're almost done browning this hamburger meat as I throw it all over my counter. You don't need to work with too hot of a pan with a cast iron if that's what you're using, you guys. The cast iron retains a lot of heat, so you just want to be careful. You don't want to be working too hot. I've got mine on medium heat, and it's doing just fine. Everyone says hello to Rory. Now my dogs think someone is here. <laughs> so funny. All right, you guys, this is my favorite can opener. So easy and simple. Don't have to struggle with trying to find an edge of your can. Spin it around. Very smooth can edge opener. You guys won't ever have any sharp edges. So if your kids want to help in the kitchen, but you're scared, they're going to cut themselves with a regular can opener. So you spin it to the right to open the can. Spin it to the left to release. Then you use this little bird beak and just grab the edge of the can and lift up like so and you are ready to go. I'm gonna take my pan and I'm just going to strain off some of this grease using my little silicone oven mitt. I'm gonna turn my heat down a little bit. Make sure you strain your food off into a can or a cup of some kind. Here we go. Not much, you guys. The leaner the ground beef you use, the less amount of grease you will need to strain off. Here we go. Just like that. 
Now we are going to take our tomato sauce. First, I'm gonna grab this. Grab oven mitts for my tortellini. And just stick this in a strainer. And it can wait off to the side for a little bit. Make sure you put your raw crock onto a silicone pot holder so that you do not burn anything. And also, um, don't leave it on your ceramic top if you are have one because it could damage your ceramic top being so hot and sitting there like that. Yes, your can opener is going to be awesome. Huh, thanks, Philip. Practice. Many years of practice. I have two dogs and three cats. Hello, Doodles. How are you? Hello, Emily. So our ground beef is done. Now we are going to add in... Our tomato sauce, like so. Give it a little stir. Get it nice and incorporated. My stove is still on, just on super low heat. My cast iron is hot enough. We don't need to add any more heat to it. Now, we are gonna take our block of cream cheese. I'm just gonna set this in here so it doesn't mess up my counter. Then we're gonna grab an eight ounce block of cream cheese and I'm gonna use my quick slice. You guys, I love my quick slice. It is so, so handy. <laughs> right, doodles? Hello. Hello, Susan's co-workers. <laughs> you are awesome. Hello, Alexis. So I'm going to use my quick slice, you guys. I'm just going to set my cream cheese block down into my quick slice like so, just like this. Drop it down and slice our cream cheese into little pieces, just like that. Pull it up which is, is a lot easier with vegetables and stuff like that. But I do like to use it for cream cheese when we need to cut it into little blocks. There we go. There they go. No having to mess around with it. Cutting cream cheese is hard. Just these last couple pieces. It will be easier. Don't throw the whole block of cream cheese uncut into your sauce. It will take forever for it to melt into it. Made a little bit of a mess on this side, but that's okay. Not a huge deal. So we're gonna melt that cream cheese in there. Like so. We're just gonna wait until this gets nice and melted in and incorporated. I'm just gonna help it a little bit, stir it around. That's why you still, ooh, still need your heat on just a little bit on your stove so that this sauce can melt in <laughs> every time. Sorry guys, I forgot about you back there. Every time I go to stir this, it splooshes over the side. Here we go. Try and get that cleaned up. Try not to make a mess. You guys know how I am, no? I am messy. All right, we're gonna let that melt in. Our tortellini is next, you guys. So, now, you need a baking dish. It says a nine by 13, but I'm gonna use a little bit of a smaller one so that it doesn't overcook. All right, Bree, drive safe. The quick slice is amazing, you guys. Carissa, I decided not to wear it. I should have. I got an awesome Pampered Chef hat. Uh, my four-year-old actually took it. He is wearing it with his Pampered Chef superhero shirt. So I wasn't, he wasn't worth the fight to try and get it back from him. All right, so this is getting melted in. So while that is finishing up, I'm gonna grab my baking dish, using one of our stoneware dishes, you guys, and just going to put my tortellini in here. 
Give it a little bit of a shake to break the tortellinis back up if they have stuck together at all. Put them into the dish. I think this is a perfect size for it. Um, I feel like a 13 by nine would have been a little big for this dish. I like my dishes to look full and not just part full. I also don't want the um, sauce to be spread too thin because I don't want it to dry out at all in the oven because we are gonna bake it for about 20 minutes in the oven. And I feel like if it was spread out in a nine by 13 that it might, um, might just kind of dry out some of that sauce and I don't want it to be super thick. Hello, Terrell, how are you? <sighs> yes, you guys, the quick slice is amazing. You have to have it. Yes, you guys, so if you are cooking in a cast iron, you can totally just throw your tortellini into the pan, sprinkle it with cheese, and throw it into the oven. You do not have to do this switch, but I just love having a reason to use my stoneware. I absolutely love it and it's been kind of neglected lately as I've been favoring my cast iron skillet. So I decided to use my smaller cast iron and take advantage of one of my stoneware pieces. So here we go. I'm just gonna take this and dump it into the tortellini. Hello, Dad, how are you? I'll see you soon, I hope. Hello, Linda, thank you for sharing. We're at 80 views, you guys were doing two giveaways today. Say someone broke the lid to their dish. Is there a way to get a replacement without buying a whole new one? Tabitha, which dish are, dish are you referring to? Um, a lot of our pieces with Pampered Chef, we do sell replacement parts without having to buy the whole new thing. Also, a lot of our dishes have warranties on them that you can actually get a warranty replacement if something has been broken on it. As long as you call our main office, they can look that up for you. Hello, Joan. You guys, it smells so good. Cream cheese and tomato sauce is the best. Hello, Sharon and Jenny. So we are just gonna carefully pour this into our tortellini. That looks so good, you guys. Nice and full. Turn your burners off. I'm just gonna kind of scrape around a little bit. What I love about my cast iron, you guys, is once it's seasoned, like cooking that ground beef in there, that little bit of grease that comes with it is perfect to stop your stuff from sticking. The cleanup time on that cast iron is going to be just as fast as any other dish. I know people get intimidated by the fact that you can't use soap with your cast iron, but you honestly won't need it. Super easy to clean and take care of and so good once you get it nice and seasoned. Um, if you aren't familiar with our stoneware, you guys, it is very, very similar to how you take care of cast irons. You don't use soap. You don't need to soak them for any reason. You just use a little bit of a scraper, scrape off the inside. We do provide the scraper to you when you purchase some of our stonewares and our cast irons so that you can scrape all that residue. If you ever have stuck on residue for your cast irons or your stoneware, all you need to do is make a little bit of a baking soda rub and then scrub it off. So just like that, good to go. I'm just kinda trying to cover some of that meat with the tortellinis. Then we are gonna cover this dish in mozzarella and Parmesan. So yummy, you guys. Here we go. Like so. Hello, hello, Laura. No bacon. No, no bacon, you guys. So good. A stoneware. So you got the deep covered baker, Tabitha, the deep covered baker. There is a warranty on that. Depending on when you bought it, you can get the lid. I don't know if they sell the replacement, but I can definitely check. Um, Philip, every time I am done, so we need one to two cups of mozzarella and half a cup of Parmesan. Whenever I am done washing my cast iron in the sink, I always take a paper towel with a little bit of oil on it. 
olive oil, coconut oil, vegetable oil, whatever you're comfortable with. Take a little bit of that on a paper towel and rub it all over the cast iron in the on the inside of it and the outside and the handles. Don't neglect the entire metal part of your cast iron. Um, you just I reseason it before I put it in the cupboard every time I use it. Also cooking it, cooking with it will season it as well. So as long as you are using it regularly and you are using extra oil while you cook, your cast iron will stay nice and seasoned for you. Susan, I love mine too. I was actually scared of them for a long time and I got them a year or so ago and love them. Yes, cooking with cast iron is amazing. Tracy, I don't know what happened or why you're asking what happened. All right, so mozzarella, parmesan, cheesy, yummy goodness, you guys. I'm just going to use the last of this parmesan. There we go. Now we are just going to open our oven, 350, you guys. Pop it in there, 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes is up on the middle shelf, once the 20 minutes is up, you're gonna turn it on to broil. If you're using a cast, if you're using a stoneware, you cannot use the broil setting on stoneware, okay? So just be aware of that. Um, to the, for the last couple minutes, throw the broil on and brown the cheesy top if you want to. If you don't and you're using a, st um, a stoneware, don't worry about it. It will not make or break the dish. So we are about to do our giveaway. Make sure you get all your likes and reactions out there. I use them on everything that has stuck on. I've seen somebody actually use them on their um, ceramic top. The, our little scrapers that we sell, you guys. Um, Mine are over here. The little scrapers that come with our cast iron dish. Actually, I somebody uses them to clean their ceramic cook top. I'm assuming my husband took all of my scrapers because I cannot find them. <laughs> Parmesan and mozzarella. So our scrapers, you guys, super easy, simple. They come in three packs, but they also come with your cast iron and with your stoneware when you get it. Super easy to use to scrape off that gunk. It has a nice corner to it to really get in there. Use it on your ceramic top if you want to with a little bit of soap and water. Super awesome, you guys. Yeah, Parmesan and mozzarella, you guys. Both cheeses. More mozzarella than Parmesan is what the recipe says, but I did about an even dose of each of them. So, that was our recipe today, you guys. Serve it with green beans, asparagus, broccoli, corn, whatever you want to as a vegetable. Um, I highly recommend garlic bread with it. You cannot go wrong with garlic bread and anything pasta. So, Let's get ready to do our giveaway. I'm going to just shift you guys back over to where you normally are so that you guys can... Woo! Saved ya. <laughs> um, love my big bag of mozzarella cheese, you guys. It is so handy. This light is so bright. The, the cover fell off of it. And it is so bright. So let me put that back on there. <laughs> There we go. I didn't either, Becky. Somebody else mentioned it, and I was like, life-changing. And she actually thought that that's what it was for and didn't use it like we do for her um, cast irons and her stoneware. So it was kind of funny. I learned something, and she learned something. Yes, the more cheese, the better, you guys. Yes, it's going to be so good. I'm so excited for this recipe, you guys. Um, I have been trying to work out and watch what I eat. And dinner is kind of like my, not cheat meal, but like my kind of just go for it meal every day. I try to eat small and snacks all day long. And then dinner is like my time to really fill my belly. So I am super excited for dinner tonight. A nice pasta dinner to fill my belly so that I'm full for the rest of the night before I go to bed. So then hopefully I won't snack in the middle of the night like I have been. <laughs> yes, you guys, countertops, kitchen counters, dining room table, anything stuck on goo that you feel like you're always using your fingernail for, that is where these scrapers come into play. 
every time, you guys. So helpful. Yes, Tammy, they do. Yep, I got like eight of them in my first Pampered Chef order because I had gotten like the stoneware set and the stoneware pizza pan and the cast irons. And so I had like six of those little scrapers because they do come with um, everything that they, they ordered. Any of those, they will come with your, with your stoneware, with your cast iron. But we do also sell extras. We sell them in three packs, super inexpensive. I think like seven bucks or something like that. Super, super cheap. Super cheap, you guys. All right, I'm just going through these names right now, getting rid of the ones that I know have won this month so that we don't have to do like a triple pull like we did the other day. I apologize that for that, you guys. I'm so bad. I try to remember who has won and I always miss it and end up pulling names of people who have won already. All right, I'm going through, making sure, slowly but surely. I cannot remember anyone else who has won this month, so that's not very helpful, but I got a couple that I remembered. So if you won, you guys just be honest. You can't win until next month if you've already won for this month. I will find out and I will pull another name if I go into our messages and find out that you did win this month already. Just to keep it fair, you guys, some of you have the best luck ever and win like three times in a month if I didn't set that rule. All right. Sandy, will you pick two numbers between 1 and 12? Sandy Johnson. Good luck, everybody. Becky, girl, I, like, always request help from my friends. Like, hey, what should I make this week? And they always end up, not always, but usually people recommend things that I've already done. My mom sent me a text message the other day, and I didn't get to it. So she called me and was like, hey, did you get my text? And, like, what was it? She's like, oh, is this really cool recipe? And I'm like, Which, what was it? She's like, oh, you make these meatloaf, little meatloafs, and you push in the middle, and you fill it with mashed potatoes. I was like, mom, I did that on my show, like, three weeks ago. <laughs> It's funny. It's hard to come up with ideas now, but I am here, you guys. I'm in the struggle with you of trying to decide what to make for dinner every night. So I'm making this pasta dish, then I'm going to whip out a pecan pie for my grandpa for his 81st birthday, pack up the kids, head to Bismarck for the night so that we can hang out all day with him tomorrow at his house. <laughs> nice, Susan. Multi-purpose. Four and nine. Thank you, Sandy. I'm losing hope. Oh no. Baja shrimp pizza on a flatbread. My kids love shrimp. All right, you guys. Here we go. Four and nine. Remember, if you see your name, that doesn't necessarily mean you've won. You have to win if you're fourth name and if you're the ninth name. Here we go. Number one, Miranda. Number two, and please pay attention to the last names, Alexis. Number three, Amy. And number four, first winner. Please remember, you guys. Ooh, congratulations, Joey. Um, please remember, you guys, if you do not message me your shipping information, your phone number, and your email, I cannot send you anything, and I will not chase after you. If you don't see your name and you don't follow up with me, it is a loss. Um, I give you a week, and if you don't, then it, it goes away, okay? Sorry, guys. I love you all to death, but don't come to me three weeks later and say, here's my shipping information. All right, so that was number four. Number five, Brie. <laughs> Sorry, Brie. Number six, Brianna. Number seven, Deborah. Number eight, Rose. And number nine, Deb LaForest. Deb LaForest, congratulations. Please send me your shipping information, your email, and your phone number. Please send me all of that stuff. It is nothing worse than me trying to place an order at midnight and being like, crap, I don't have their email or I don't have their phone number, and then I have to wait until the next day. So please send me all the information, and I appreciate all of you guys for watching. Teresa, my kitchen is so hot right now. My air conditioner is going at full blast, but with that stove 
in that oven. This is definitely a recipe um, that will heat up your kitchen. I will warn you of that. So we have about 11 minutes left. I will post a picture, you guys, when it is all done. I will give you a sneak peek right now. Um, everything is already cooked. Oops. Everything is already cooked. So if you are on a time restraint, you can pull this out of the oven and serve it. Everything is cooked. Everything is warm. So you do not have to bake it if you do not have the time. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to go downstairs, grab some garlic bread, throw it in my air fryer. Nothing better than air fried garlic bread, you guys. And you don't have to wait for this to get out of your oven to start your garlic bread. So just throw it in the air fryer. Yes, Deb, message me. Um, you should be able to go to the main page, go over to like about or contact and scroll down. It should say send a message. Um, sometimes you can just send it right from here. I'm not really sure. Right, Susan? I feel like anybody that gets close to me doesn't win. So that may be the secret. Just stay kind of afar as a stranger and you'll win. Because I feel like none of my best friends have won. My dad won one time, but that was when I first started my show and it was like one of five people and he won. <laughs> All right, you guys, have an awesome night. I will probably see you guys Sunday since I'm gonna be pretty busy over the next two days in Bismarck. Um, I will post a recipe. Please do not be shy. If you find a recipe and you're like, I really wanna make this, but I want a video on how, or I wanna make this, but I'm nervous, I don't think it's gonna turn out, please send me the recipe. The more ideas and recommendations, the easier it is for me to do my job every week. And I would appreciate it. You guys, desserts, appetizers, side dishes, main dishes, you name it, I am in it, you guys. And when I go on vacation on Monday, I am not sure what my schedule is going to be, but we are going to be on here making cocktails at one point, and we're going to be on here making seafood at one point with all of my girls. So make sure you tune into those, you guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be pretty wild and crazy. So if that's not your style, don't worry about it. You can catch me next week. But if you're in it, you guys, this um, next week is going to be fun and crazy. Have an awesome night, you guys. Bye.